There's also a bunch of stuff you can do to make navigating dialogues inside of Chief Architect faster and even easier in some cases. One of them is involved in your preference settings and the way that Chief Architect actually works. You can set it up so the dialogues remember the state they were in the last time you used them. So those settings are in the general section of your preferences. And in this section, Save Dialogue Size and Position, you can set it up so that every time you open Chief Architect, it remembers where that dialogue was on your screen. So if you have multiple monitors and you want your cabinet edit dialogue to always show up on you know, the far right side of your monitor, every time you open that specification dialog, it will open there. If you have a different specification dialog, maybe your uh, layer display options, you want those to open up on the left side of your monitor. The next time you you get into that dialog, it's going to remember that position every time. So you can turn that on or off depending on what you prefer to do. And then you also have this other setting for open dialogs in the last panel visited. And this is a way that allows you to be a little more efficient if you're doing something like change the moldings that are appearing on your wall cabinets. So if you know that you're going to need to get into that dialog box frequently in order to add different profiles or check out how they look with a different arrangement or scaling, then you can set this option in your preferences and then every time you open up the cabinet dialog it will open to the moldings panel. So you're already there and you already can get right to work. And here are some tips for navigating while you're inside a dialog. So if we open up this cabinet, if I want to get into any of these fields quickly, I can just use my tab key and you can see here, watch this little uh, outline that it sequences through the different fields in my dialog. So I can, if I don't want to be using my mouse, I know I'm going to be putting in a bunch of data entry. I can just tab to the next field that I want to change and it's, it makes it a little bit faster. If, for example, you accidentally tab too far, I do this a lot, and you want to get backwards, just hold down the shift key and then hit tab and it will take you back up a level. So it'll take you to that previous field. So hit tab to sequence through um, the different fields on the panel of any of the dialogues and shift tab will take you backwards. If I want to get through these different side panels quickly without using my mouse and just use my keyboard, then I can use the control key, hold that down, plus the tab. While I'm holding control, if I continue to hit tab, it'll just take me through each of the panels there. And since I'm here on the material panel, one of the cool things that you can do on this panel is you can select multiple elements from this list. So in this case, maybe I want to change my entire cabinet to be a di totally different color. You know you can select each one of these individually and then you click on the swatch to change the color. Or if I want to do them all at once, I can hold my shift key down. That will select everything between the first and the last elements that I've chosen. But if I want to just change only the gray colors to a new color, I can hold my control key and then click on each of those uh, layers that I want to manually change. You can also do math in any of these numerical inputs anywhere in Chief. So in the dialogues or in your dimensions or any place like that, if you know that you have six inches of space that you can use for this cabinet, but you don't want to do the math in your head, just type the plus sign and six and then hit tab. And that's going to refresh that value for you right there in the dialog. So it's a really easy way to get accurate results uh, with any of those input areas. So you can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Just kind of your basic sums there in your entry fields. And speaking of changing dimensions, but if you grab the move handle and you drag and you don't want to type this value in, but you know you just want to move this whole cabinet over six inches. While I'm dragging, I have my left mouse button depressed and I'm dragging to the right and I can just press the tab key on my keyboard and the program will open this enter coordinates dialog. So I can choose to move this cabinet, this value, and you can base that off of these different control points and set the position. So if I want to shift this cabinet over six inches, I'll just hit six and the program will just move it for you really quickly. So that's an easy way to get your objects moved without typing in a new uh, dimension through the temporary dimension or editing a dimension string. 
So we talked about kind of the hard-coded hotkeys with your control key, alt key, the X and the C and the F in the previous segment, but we didn't talk about hotkeys in general. In Chief Architect, you can set up however you want the inter interface to behave with your keyboard and hotkeys. And those controls are just here in the Tools menu. And under Toolbars and Hotkeys, you can choose to customize your hotkeys. So you have the whole list of the different commands that are in the program, and you can even search for those. And then you can just type in whatever you want that magic uh, keyboard stroke to be in order to set up your own hotkeys. This is especially useful if you are trained in a different software and you've migrated over into Chief Architect. Maybe there are some similar tools that we have in the software and that you used to use. Just set your hotkeys to match what you had before and your learning curve has just like diminished because you already have the mental imprint to know that, you know, the L hotkey will draw a line. So yeah, set those up and customize them so that your environment works for you. Another productivity modification you can do to Chief's interface is customizing these toolbars. So we try to ship with an out-of-box set of toolbars for somebody that's pretty new to the program and is being introduced to the tools, but you get to modify those and move them around however you'd like. One of the really cool things that I like about Chief is the ability to map objects in your library browser to a toolbar. A great example of this is in the wall tool. We all know that you have this parent tool and there's this selection of wall types. If I am building a house that's got both siding walls and shingle walls on it, using the exterior wall tool will only give me one of those options. What I can do is customize a special toolbar. So if we go to tools, toolbars and hotkeys, and customize toolbars, and I'm going to make a new toolbar button for place library item. So I can just click on this and drag it onto my screen. Now the cool thing about it is immediately after I have it onto my interface, if I click on it, it brings up this dialog library button specification. So what I'm just going to do is make essentially a shortcut to one of my favorite wall types. Here's my wall with continuous insulation. I just click on that and I can tell the program to you know, generate this preview for it and hit OK. And I want to put this button right up here on my toolbar. So now, whenever I need to make that uh, insulated wall type, I can just click on this tool and I don't have to worry about knowing what state these tools are in and then drag on my screen and the program will give me that particular wall type. You can do that with any item that's in your library browser. So if that's, you know, a special toilet type or a light fixture or a line type that you find that you always want to use, even a molding, use that place library object button. You can put as many of those as you want on your screen. Another tip while you're editing in your design is any item that you want to make a copy of can be selected. And not only do you have these copy tools in the sub menu for the, the copy edit tool, but you can just grab this move handle and start dragging and you'll get a copy anytime you, that you pull a new version off after selecting the copy tool. That works with your C hotkey for concentric and that also works with your control key so that you have a free, free form moving and placement of the object. So you can start combining some of these productivity tips to do things even more efficiently and quickly.